Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about very common question, commonly asked question by various audiences including students and even sometimes consultants. The term Microsoft 365 and Office 365. Mostly they are often used interchangeably but they are not the same. So I'll give you a clear breakdown of the differences. I'm Kushanta Gunardhan, working as a trainer and consultant for Microsoft and Cybersecurity Technologies. Today, I'm going to take you through the difference between Microsoft 365 and Office 365. The good thing is, up to 2017, there was no Microsoft 365. Microsoft 365 was launched into back in 2017 for the first time. So they were developing this for some time and they launched officially Microsoft 365 in 2017. Why I know this? Because I was part of the trainers that Microsoft selected to uh, provide training for Microsoft uh, internal engineers and also the partners around the globe. So I was conducting this training for over eight countries at that time mainly India, Cambodia, Myanmar, Philippines, uh, Nepal, and various other uh, locations because Microsoft has kind of outsourced this to large training company to promote Microsoft 365 for their partners and uh, internal engineers. And then one of the companies that I worked for back in 2017 got this uh, as kind of outsourcing project to conduct this in eight countries that we were working at that time. Back in 2017, I was working for uh, 15 countries looking after Microsoft training and uh, consultation for the company that I work for. So then I got this rare opportunity to introduce Microsoft 365 uh, to eight countries uh, in 2017. So if you compare these two, Microsoft 365 and Office 365. So Office 365 is a cloud-based suite of productivity apps like we know Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook and so on. So that is Office 365 package. So by 2017 or 2016 and 17, Microsoft thinking about this app suite to incorporate some other advanced features, especially EMS, Enterprise Mobility and Security Suite. And also Microsoft was thinking about uh, introducing operating system as a service. You all know Windows as a service, right? So at that time, so nobody was thinking about how to offer operating system as a service. So for the first time, Microsoft released Office uh, Windows 10 as a Windows as a service back in 2017, combining operating system to Office 365 product suite. So then it has become Office 365 product suite plus operating system and EMS with advanced security, also EMS known as enterprise mobility and security. So Microsoft 365 is pretty much a comprehensive subscription bundle, including Office 365, Windows operating system, at that time Windows 10, now Windows 11, and EMS. But Office 365 is a cloud bundle suite, uh, including Word, Excel, PowerPoint, that can be further divided as a web-based product suite and also installable set of apps. So this is the difference between Office 365 and Microsoft 365. And if you look at the scope, Office 365 mainly focus on productivity tools and collaboration. But Microsoft 365 has uh, advanced or broader scope, which is productivity plus security plus operating system and also device management, especially in tune kind of features. Let's look at target audiences of these two, two products, right? If you look at these target audience can be different from businesses, education, and home users. So these are the main three types of audiences that we can expect. So if you look at business portfolio, Office 365 focus on productivity and collaboration. But when it comes to Microsoft 365, it provides you much more broader services, including full workspace solution, including device and security management for the businesses. And also when it comes to education, Microsoft offer Office 365, Office 365 A1, A3, A5 plans for much more affordable pricing. 
and Microsoft 365 not only provides Office 365 set of uh, applications, but also it includes Windows Enterprise Edition, also known as Windows Education, and then EMS, Enterprise Mobility Security. What about home users then? So home users, Office 365 provide Office 365, but now it's no longer branded as Office 365. So Microsoft has converted or transitioned Office 365 for the home users as Microsoft 365 family and personal plans. So there are two plans basically Microsoft uh, is offering for the home users known as Microsoft 365 personal, Microsoft 365 family plans. So that is for Microsoft offering for the uh, home users. So as I said before, Office 365 they are for some time, but until Microsoft introduced Microsoft 365 in 2017. So there are so many terms were rebranded. For example, Office 365 home and personal plans were rebranded to Microsoft 365 in 2020. And Office 365 still exists in some business and education plans. So it's still continuing the legacy of Office 365, but Microsoft 365 was rebranded. I mean, Office 365 was rebranded in to Microsoft 365 in some of the uh, uh, offerings. And sometimes you must be wondering, what are the other plans like Office 365 E3, E3 meaning Enterprise Edition uh, 3, right? And then Microsoft 365 also offers E3 plan. So if you compare Office 365 E3 plan and Microsoft 365 E3 plan, so they can then 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 we can concentrate on app security and operating system. As you know, Office 365 E3 does not include uh, operating system. So if you purchase Office 365 for your business, for example, you will get a set of apps like Office apps, Teams, and Exchange. And if you look at the security, you will get basic security features which are, comes with Office 365 apps and operating system is not in. But if you look at Microsoft 365 E3 plan, that includes Office apps, Teams, Exchange, and advanced security features, including Intune, Azure AD, P1, P2, now uh, uh, Entra AD, uh, P2, and P1, and then Defender. So if you look at Microsoft 365 E3, you will get Intune, uh, Entra ID P1 version plus P1, premium one edition of Entra ID plus Defender. And also it includes Windows 10 and 11 Enterprise. And if you take Microsoft 365 E5, then you will get Azure AD P2 or Entra AD P2 version along with it. And some And I would like to give you kind of a summary table here. Now feature set, Office Apps, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, you will get with Microsoft 365 or Office 365. And cloud collaboration tools like Teams, you can get from Office 365 and Microsoft 365. But if you look at Windows OS, you will only get it with Microsoft 365, Windows as a service, Office 365 does not provide you operating system. And also enterprise mobility, uh, and security is not included in your Office 365 plan, but Microsoft 365 does. And it is best for uh, uh, a full workspace integration, Microsoft 365, but Office 365 is best for productivity only. If you look at Office 365, that is only provides you productivity with Word, Excel, PowerPoint kind of apps, whereas Microsoft 365 provides you full workspace integration. And I. And my final thoughts or final recommendations, if you only need Office apps and collaboration tools, then you can select Office 365. But if you need complete cloud first solution, including operating system, security, and device management, then Microsoft 365 is the best choice. So uh, I hope you get clear understanding of Microsoft 365 and Office 365.